So for our next job, uh, it sounds like somebody has found uh, out something about Ember and is trying to message Gas to let him know. Uh, but Ember doesn't want us to let that happen, so we have to edit the message that is being sent to Gast to change the meaning of it. Uh, so what's going to happen is we have in file 300 uh, pairs of words. The first word is the one that we want to replace, and the second one is the one we want to replace it with. So if we see the word AI in this message here, the AI that lives inside an old unused computer network, we're going to change AI to collective and then network to warehouse. And we'll, we're going to do that for everything. Uh, there's also a, like a bonus objective, not a bonus objective, a side objective to just move file 200 into the outbox. It's almost like we're back in the tutorial and we're using that as an excuse to hack into Gas's network. Uh, so we're going to have one execution agent. XA is just going to wait a second because I want to get the uh, the person doing the actual job across the, the node first. So A is going to wait a second, grab 200 and drop it off. That's all. B is going to grab the, the, the key, the, the guide of which words to replace file 300, and is going to relay that information until it reaches the end of the file. Then uh, XC is going to be the one doing most of the work. C is going to head on over across 800 to 799 and grab file 212 because that's the one with the message. And then we are going to grab it, copy the word that's being sent over from XB, and then iterate over the file until we find the keyword. And then we can just seek minus one, go back one, and then replace it with the second word that's being sent over by XB, which is the replacement. Then we are going to rewind back to the beginning of the file. Uh, we're gonna wait a second for XB to finish determining whether there's another word to send. Uh, and then we'll test and see if it's sending another word. If B is sending another word, we'll repeat that process and find the next pair of words. But if there's nothing on the M register for C to read because B is finished, then C will also terminate itself. So we'll just hit go. So we found collective, now we're getting rid of uh, research. Now we're getting information. Informer. And there you go. All done. I think the message might change pretty much at each time, uh, but the the file name or the file number does not. Uh, so, and they also said that the words will only appear once and but may occur in any order. So you can't just assume you have to actually basically start searching from the beginning of the file each time. Uh, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just let that run. And there we have it. 